welcome everyone welcome to the analytics school in this tutorial we will see that how to implement k-mean clustering algorithm in python we have already studied that what is the clustering what does clustering means and what is what are the various type of clustering in the previous tutorials so if you have any doubt on clustering please refer to the previous tutorial and come back to it and we will see here only the application part that how to implement the k-mean clustering algorithm in python so what are the various steps to implement the k-mean clustering algorithm in python there first you will have to import all important modules like pandas numpy sklearn pyplot then you will have to import iris dataset in python iris dataset is a very standard dataset for classification provided by uci then we'll preview the dataset we'll see the dataset study it and convert the dataset to the panda data frame will perform the k-means analysis to it in the step 4 in the step 5 we'll see the result that is the clustering vector we'll plot it and in step 6 we'll check the accuracy of it so let's start by importing all the important modules i'm using spider but you can use any id for your purpose so what are the various module i have already listed down the various module which we'll use here so these are the various modules I will explain line by line what does that mean import matplot plot is plt this is used for plotting and the second module which we are using is sklearn it has three purposes one is for dataset that is we will import iris dataset using this second the k-means function which we will use and third is metrics which we will use for accuracy prediction third is import pandas and, and, and numpy which are the very which are very standard libraries used in python so the next step next step is that we'll import iris dataset in python iris dataset as i've already told you is a very standard dataset file let's see what what does iris dataset is iris dataset this is a UCI, UCI machine learning repository. Iris dataset has 150 instances of species. Has four, they have four attributes. The four attributes are sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. The associated task is classification, that is clustering. Go to the data folder. Let's see the dataset. As you can see, there are four attributes. 5.1 indicates sepal length, 3.5 is sepal width. 1.4 is petal length and 0.2 is petal width. Iris setosa indicate the species kind. So this is the data set. Pandas uh, in uh, Python, the data set is internally available. We'll just have to import it. So we'll import the data set. So let's import. I'm defining one iris variable. Iris is equal to data sets dot load underscore iris now we will preview the data set how the data set look like this is the data set of iris as you can see it has data part in it iris has data part in it which, which, which contain all the numerical variables the second part associated with it is feature underscore names which has the column name, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width of all the numerical variable. The third thing Iris has target. This is the, it has classified the kind into the quantitative variable 0, 1 and 2 and target underscore name has mapping to those, those things. That is 0 indicate setosa, 1 indicate versicolor, 2 indicate virginica. We can look like this also. If we'll type iris.data, we'll get the complete data set here. If we'll type iris.feature underscore names, we'll get the column names of the first four quantitative variables. If we'll type iris.target, we'll get that first uh, kind of the species has is of kind 0 second 
सेकेंड पर्टिकुलर स्पीशी इज ऑफ काइंड जीरो थर्ड पर्टिकुलर स्पीशी इज ऑफ काइंड जीरो सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल क्लासीफिकेशन नॉट द प्रिडिक्टेड वन एंड इफ यूल सी द आयरिस डॉट टारगेट अंडर स्कोर नेम्स विल गेट एरे सेटोसा वर्सिकल एंड विर्जेनिका सेटोसा करस्पॉन्ड टू दिस जीरो वर्सिकल एंड करस्पॉन्ड टू दिस वन एंड वर्जेनिका करस्पॉन्ड टू दिस टू now we will convert now the step 3 will we have already preview the data set now we have to convert the data set to the panda data frame so now let's convert let's define a variable x is equal to pd dot data frame this is a very standard pandas command to convert data set to panda data frame iris dot data so this the earlier variable iris dot data this is the data iris dot data we are capturing that thing into x and now we'll define x columns x dot columns is equal to in the square brackets sepal underscore length comma quotes sepal underscore width petal underscore length petal underscore width now let's preview x x is the panda data frame object as we can see the column name has been appeared sepal length sepal width petal length petal width so in the similar way we'll do with y also y is equal to pd dot data frame iris dot target now we'll define the column by dot columns equal to now we can preview y also in the panda we can see this column name target has appeared and this indicate that zeroth kind zeroth species is of kind 0 one one of the species is of kind 0 and so on now the next step will perform k means analysis to it so let's perform k means analysis let's define a variable model is equal to k means in the k means analysis you will have to give a value that how many cluster you want say i want three clusters so i'll specify three clusters so user has to define how many clusters he want what is the error let's look at it it should be clusters now we'll have to fit that into our x data frame x data frame contains all those four attribute of 150 species now the k means has been successfully done it has returned the k means object now we can review the result so we'll see the cl clustering vectors model dot labels underscore this is the clustering vector it in it tells me that zeroth item is of first cluster first item is of first cluster the next item is of plus first cluster and so on so you'll get some this kind of array now we'll plot this If we'll plot it directly without changing the color, without defining a color map, I'll show you that what will happen. Say I'm defining, I'm plotting x petal length and petal width without defining a color map. So what will happen? So it will give me a similar kind of plot, and I'll not be able to distinguish the color. 
between them so for, to avoid this i will define a color map variable so color map variable will differentiate this np dot array say one color is red other is blue I have defined the color map variable now in the previous function I'll define a third attribute C is equal to color map and I'll pass our model predicted value value here So now you can see there are three cluster swarms. This blue cluster is cluster 1, yellow is cluster 2 and red is cluster 3. Let's see how the actual um, well, actual uh, target variable, actual the given variable look like. So we'll just have to change this internal variable into this and we are ready to go. You remember that we have stored the actual value in y dot targets earlier so we'll just plot it we'll see that the graph is similar actual is similar to the predicted one but there is one thing which is that the colors have been interchanged the yellow in the predicted should have appeared here and blue should have predicted here red should be there so you 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 can get a different kind of interchange but uh, we can see that the clustering has been defined correctly so every every in every run it will give a different kind of run so this was all in for the k-means clustering algorithm and thank you